No, we haven't had much rain since the big rain. Uh, just some small stuff. Uh, nothing to be impactful, but we're still, you know, we're still working on getting dried out here. But you can kind of tell here. So we had water on up. Uh, it probably was knee deep or higher here where I'm standing. Um, and we're right here at a, at a blind here in, the, in, in West Sandy. And you can tell uh, this, this is right here is wild millet. All of this is wild millet. There's some, there's some uh, red sprangle top in here, which is essentially similar to millet, um, so to say. And all of this was underwater too, but you can tell all it did was irrigate it. I mean, it's, it's, it's right back. It's gonna, it's gonna probably start putting seed heads out here pretty quick. But the corn around it is lost. Um, and now we're gonna have to come in here and band-aid where we've lost corn. So this is just an example of how the millet or the, uh, the wild millets, the wild plant communities, um, they're adapted to this wet, moist soil. And when we have floods like that, it doesn't set them back any. Um, it, it, it really just irrigates them. It's no different than trying to grow rice in a rice field. You know, farmers will irrigate their rice by pumping their fields up good weed control, et cetera. So um, just, just a good example right here. I know it's not a very big spot, but it's a good example of if all of the, the, the corn ground that we did lose would have been in this and we wouldn't have lost a crop, it'd be well on its way. You can see all the bugs in here loaded up. Of course, that's good for turkeys and anything that wants to call this place home. And those, those bugs, a lot of those bugs are they're laying eggs in this, which hatches as larvae, which are those invertebrates that we're talking about. And uh, that's what helps feed the ducks too. We've got other plants in here. Here's a plant right here. This is, this is Biden's, this is Spanish needles. Um, this plant puts off a lot of seed. It's the stuff that's got the two prongs on it, sticks to your waders, you can't get it off, you get mad at it. The seed actually has more protein in it than just about any other seed and plant that we could ever put in the ground out here. And ducks love them.